There's a kind of drought that asks, did it rain in the last week? And then there's another kind of drought that says, how much did it rain in the last 30 years? We had a lot of rain in the last few weeks. Like a lot. The National Weather Service says 300% of normal. That's three times the rain and snow we usually get in January. 300% is great to this point. We still have months to go in the winter. And for the drought, that's good news and no news at all. Here's why. We usually show you what's called the drought monitor map. And right now, most of Arizona looks pretty good. No extreme drought anywhere in the state. But that's not actually the drought. For the short-term drought, you need to talk about current. What is happening right now? So is the ground wet? Is the grass dead? Is anything dry enough to burn in a wildfire right now? And that affects things like agriculture, ranchers, forest health. Because we're not. When we talk about the drought, we mean the long-term 22-year mega drought, and that can't be solved by a big rainstorm. For long-term, we look at the previous two years and more. Long-term, over the decade, the entire Colorado Basin has really seen a deficit in rainfall, and one month or even one year is not going to make up that deficit. There's a map of the long-term drought, too. It just doesn't change all that much. Take a look. The red and darker red is exceptional drought. And the reason it's concerning is because it follows the Colorado River, where most of the west water comes from. Long-term drought is the reason water levels at Lake Powell and Lake Mead are dropping every year. And for Arizona, long-term drought has way more to do with a snowfall in the Colorado Rockies than it does a rain or snowstorm in Arizona. Colorado snow melts, goes downstream, and ends up in the Colorado River. So no, the drought is not over, even if some of the maps seem to look like it. We still need more going forward. William Pitts, 12 News.